So for today's ride, we're in a place called Monchik. It's the highest point in the Algarve, about 900 meters. We've got up here on a mini bus. We've got a long day ahead of us. Although thankfully most of it's downhill. Meters yeah, sea level, 902 man. meters, yeah. There's only one way to go. English. <laughs> <laughs> well, this section's easy, but I can't see it being like this. All the way. I like putting rocks in way around here. Oh, crash. Stop this jumping. <laughs> God, can't get me balance. Oh no, this was down. Yeah, tricky. Especially when we've never ridden it before. Oh my god. Yeah. This here looks hairy. Well, my feet were all over the place going down there. The uh, sat navs. Oh, oh God! That was steeper than I thought. As I was just about to say, the sat navs are a bit slow picking up where we are, so we keep missing our track. A bit like we did on the last big ride we did. Just kept going slightly off course. That log, that log were a bit steep. Heck. 
So we're going up at bars. Up here now. My bike's just turned itself off on the uphill road section even though I had all lights on there were no assistance and thankfully it got some sense and fired back into life what do you call this? I reckon it's a bit of an enduro course, some of this. I can believe it and I don't really, sorry mate. No, you're right. I you should have. Doing that, then. Crashing. Went down the wrong side, I could have rolled that. Place safe, seeing as I'm a long way from home. Another punch I just mended. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> Come on, this is technical. Technical. Oh, there's a lot of damming going on. Must be down here. It's a funny track that we're on, we seem to do a lot of climbing to go back down again and then climb again. Considering we're so high up, it would have just thought we we're all downhill. followed that round instead of trying to straight line it. what that is but we've just come through a load of eucalyptus trees so maybe they peel the bark off them we've had a, a snack 
local cafe. Watch has decided to stop working again. Well, we've been on this track for a fair distance. It's very dusty. So I'm hanging back. It's a bit sketchy, it's trying to get round corners. The front tire doesn't seem to have any grip at all. I think it's these matchstick forks that are helping. These 35s are twanging around all over the place. Well, we just had a knobby nick explode on us and it went off like a gunshot. And we've only got 50 yards up the road from the last one where he meant we had to mend. And we've got the red boost button on for this bit. Oops. And they pulled me all mate off wherever that was. Ooh, oh. ah. <laughs> One of the most amusing things about this trip is apart from me, all the others have Shimano engines or beta rises. And three of them are now on this KTM with the Bosch motor. And I can't believe how much more power the Bosch has over their Shimano equipped bikes. And they keep calling like the red button is the ludicrous mode. They're having a great lot of fun with it. Not as good as Scar House. But it is sunnier. And we just stopped here for a coffee and a toasty. Excellent. Nice, nice break, we've still got 20 miles to do. We've done about 25 back down over this dam and back along the track where we've just come from Yeah. Okay, we get around the corner, let alone get up it. Oh, come on, Steve, come on. Right, let's go, go, go. Get the wheel spin, that way. Right away. Everything's out to hurt you. Oh. Well, things I'm getting up.
Man's decided to go shift just when I needed it to be good. We've got some techie stuff now, but look of it. Hanging off the back. Do you want to go, Rich? Yeah. Oh, John, I thought I'm walking. You're walking? Oh, great. oh no, John's gone. John's gone, Russ is bouncing all over the place. Oh, how the hell has he stayed on? Russ who always falls off, has managed to stay on. Well done. And they did take John's bike out. Oh, I can't steer this. <laughs> Slow down. That were interesting. Do you know that's first gate we've had? My turn for a flat tyre now, 32 mile on the clock, getting closer bud, getting closer to a beer time. Well we've all changed colour, we've gone from white dust, we've been like snowmen, and we're now, we're now covered in red dust and now I'm going back to a light coloured dust. Apparently, we have to cross this railway line. When you're down there, yeah. Only it looks like they don't want you to cross it. Do they? You must have to go on the road. Maybe should have gone up. Garmin's wanting to go along 25 in like. We're going to take a chance. We'll plead ignorance to the no trespassing bit. Oh, these tracks are wide. <laughs> well, I don't think this track's right. We've just got to come over two electric fences, so some they're trying to keep us out. So I think we'll rattle down here as quick as we can.
pleasant. There are soft fronts here, that's why it's washing out a little bit. the old bridge there's an two more up there and this is where I'm gonna sign off we're almost back home been a hell of a day out well we're done about 46 mile I think 